Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Titan Souls. Now, this isn't really a secret titan like I called last video, but it is a very hard, like, well-hidden titan. Alright. Now, as you can see, there's a huge... Ah. Uh, yeah, something's actually talking to us this time. Another broken soul seeking truth. Less encumbered than the last. Cause the last guy had like armor and more arrows. <clears throat> you have paid a high toll indeed. For the abomination in your quiver. Well, it's like assault arrow, so yeah, I guess this kind of launches. And for what? Knowledge? Power? I hope it was worth it. I, I guess it was. I don't really know. Do what you must. Alright, so this Titan, this is it. There's no fight here. Oh, we actually have to go down and get it. I was just joking around. I didn't think it actually get stuck. We just shoot it into his eye, and then we draw it back out. And like he said, there is no fight here. Or, no, like I said, there is no fight here. He just willingly gives it up to you. We have no clue why. It's just... He just doesn't want to fight. So yeah, that's it for that Titan. There's nothing else. Sorry, hang on a second. Alright, so now we just leave, and um, sort of have the burden of what we've just done weigh on us, and the burden of what we're doing weigh on us. We don't know what we're doing here, in fact, the plot of this game is just kill the titans. You just kind of have to make your own reasons. Nothing more complicated than that, kind of like in the original Legend of Zelda. Not even original Legend of Zelda, what am I saying? You have a reason, you're rescuing Zelda, it was told to you. In this game, you're told you're trying to go and see you're seeking truth in these cursed lands, killing the titans to gain power, I guess. But we don't feel much more powerful. We're getting, like, quicker and better, but we're not, like, powerful. To be fair, a lot of agility also makes you powerful, too, but... Regardless, we have to walk all the way back to the next area. I'm going to do you guys a solid and spare you that walk. I will see you in like a couple seconds. See ya. Alright everyone, welcome back. That is like a five minute walk. Alright, up we go. Always touch those, by the way. If you're like backtracking or anything, remember to touch those. Like, Jesus. You do not want to touch those. Alright. So, a similar setup to the first, like the fourth do we fought. I got missed time there, but yeah, the point is you have to hit that those lasers of ice into his teeth. Again, no real great strategy for him. Well, there is. There's a great strategy for him. Just the execution is harder than the actual like strategy. Because you can actually see the thing going under the snow. I completely forgot about that. I'm kind of on a smaller screen. Then when I beat this guy, why are frame rates why are frames dropping? All right, back up we go. Yeah, then he goes down for a little bit. No! <sighs> Again, this guy's like way more difficult than a lot of the previous.
shit. Because I don't think he lets you, um, I don't think he lets you take out more than one tooth. It's the problem. Because once he hits himself once, he gets smart, and he's like, oh, I'm not doing that again. I've already exploded the weak point, I'm not going to let him do it again. So yeah. You want to knock out a good tooth. Like, one in a good spot. Like, last one! Or the exact middle one. This is gonna go terribly wrong. Shit! He starts getting off sync with himself, though. Whew. Middle one's a good one to hit. Not one of the far side ones. Otherwise, you can really screw yourself over. Let me tell you what. Never hit one of the far side ones like I did earlier. Whew. Okay. Um, you know, that won't do it for this video, because this is going to be a really short video otherwise. So we're actually going to go the proper way through this area, like backwards, so that way you guys can see the scenery and whatnot. Because, I'm not sure if I said this earlier, but the art direction scheme is astoundingly good. It's so pretty. It's like, the best. Like, whee! Yeah, it's actually faster going down the stairs than it is going up. Like, this game's super pretty. I definitely recommend buying it. Even if you get it on sale, just buy it. Support, like, a sequel. Or another, like, spiritual sequel to this game. Because I would love to play another game like this. Where, like, every boss goes down in one hit. But getting that one hit super difficult. Alright. So, yeah, after the transit over, we're gonna probably end this video off here. Because, um... I'd be like, why aren't you into the lava area? Well, I'm saying the lava area for the last, because, honestly, the lava area is one of my favorite areas in the game, and I'd rather get that out of the way and have, like, the enjoyable experience of the lava area. Before having, or after having to deal with the most stressful area in the game, with probably my least dirt bosses. Welcome to the forest. It sucks. I'm Rick Duran, I'll see you guys next time. Samurai H is Ray Contra and stuff next time. A little bit going through the forest. Hopefully it's not as difficult as I remember it being. See you then.